the service gallery slash telephone room. To the left, as you enter this room from the Hunter Arms room, is an exhibit highlighting the history of medicine in Fulton. The pictures on the wall are of the first hospital that was located on West 5th Street, today's private residence. The first Lee Memorial Hospital was located where Michelle Nursing Home Service is now. The case contains many of the old medical equipment that was used by the Fulton doctors in the past and have since been donated to the museum. Many will remember the doctor's pill case that he brought with him when he made his house calls. To the right is a display of photograph and memorabilia related to the Civil War. The photos are members of the Grand Army of the Republic, the GAR. The drums were used by the GAR in local parades. The sons of the Union veterans donated these items. Next is the popular hands-on switchboard telephone exhibit. We are truly fortunate that this piece of equipment was offered to us by the former telephone company. When school children visit our museum, they are told, don't touch, don't touch. But with a switchboard, it's hands-on. At the end of the switchboard is an original crank telephone. Our young visitors of the museum enjoy using the switchboard to call the crank style telephone. Learn to use the crank, one long, two short rings, and you have reached your grandparents. Before you leave this room, note the police department display. We feature historic photographs honoring the local police department, including Captain Thomas Alma the first policeman appointed to the city of Fulton from 1902 through 1915. Please note the different police department badges. The audio for this room is the voice of Alex Seymour. Please note the plaque on the wall to indicate the room is now named the Alex Seymour Room to honor and thank our member, past president, and active volunteer, as well as to recognize Alex's love of telephones in his years of service to the Friends of History and Pratt House Museum.